afternoon. My name is Uldis and in this video I will show you actually all attributes on our main user interface of the EVE. So I'm going to sign in because in previous video I told you what is native console and HTML so I'm going to native and sign in. So let's start. Um, I prepared some uh, list. Yeah, oh, it's not this one. So uh, if user interface so let's start from left corner so here we are this is the main screen when you are logged in and you're gonna see a couple of folders yeah it's and some maps which are not in folders now uh, select all uh, this this option this option will be used later when I will move labs into some folder which I need the next one create new lab yeah, it's, it will be very, very often to use it. So change the item name. Okay, if I wish, for example, to change this name, I can use the uh, change item name and you can see VPN, one, two, three, and I'm saying, okay, it's changed. The same way I can I can change the name for um, folder and you can see the test box, one, two, one, two, three, okay such way test box is saved uh, next one move to yeah for example let's create one folder um, ah, folder creation is on the top add folder here so I'm creating uh, a B C folder add folder to the lab and you're gonna see a folder ABC appear it and I would like to move the one and two labs will be moved to ABC folder for that one is is move to option so I check it one two labs even you can move a folder as well so three things I'm checked here and I would like to move everything to ABC so I'm saying to move to and it's automatically showing where you wanna move and I'm saying I would like to move to ABC move done and if you're opening opening a folder you're gonna see the subfolders here so these guys I'm removing back yeah it's and I'm saying move to and I will move to root just saying yeah it's no path and I'm saying move and closing a folder and you're gonna see that I'm back to a folder and my labs are moved back so the next one is delete a selected item we just created one folder so I'm ch checking this folder and I'm saying delete selected item yes Yes, I would like to. So it's deleted. And next one, import. Import option. Import is used for import labs. So let me let me start from export yet because I will show you. So I would like to export this lab for uh, for my friend, for example, and so on. And I'm going to export and save a file. This will be a zip file. So I'm going OK, and it is exported. And uh, we can we can get it from. Uh, cut, let's say somewhere on a desktop so paste so this was lab export right now I'm going to delete this lab yeah, this is a this is a, another one so I'm checking this lab and going to delete like I did it with a folder so Kali Linux lab will be deleted so it's deleted and now I'm importing back because I exported lab and now I'm importing back so import and go to my desktop and where is the lab this one okay I'm saying import and now look at this to import and upload upload you have to press upload button and the lab is going in you can see once once marking appears that lab is done you can press remove this is not removing a lab but removing this line and you can see that Kali Linux lab is back so refresh button yeah it's if something stuck on your desktop yeah it's just a refresh button here so folder I told so let's check it so, so it was creating folder moving labs import export refresh lab preview lab preview okay uh, when I'm clicking on a lab you can see the that's much more better the lab preview this means you can see before you open a lab and here is a scale if you wish yeah, it's a, you can you can scale it yeah and you can see what nodes are are set up in this lab this is a preview once you are entered in it so this is a preview and uh, yeah and so let me check refresh lab preview such such way you can see what is inside of the lab what is connected okay um, lab edit info okay once lab is created you can see button here so open I think you <laughs> you have to know what's it, what does it mean when I press open 
it will open a lab and we are going it. So, so I'm going close lab and let me show you what is an edit under edit button here okay under edit you can add a description this is my Kali lab so description in the tasks you can say what to do in this lab so later you will see this information is possible to get and see into your uh, working screen actually in there so to this are configure more things so just it uh, just pass it is by default where is your lab the name name you can change as you wish the version as well could be added the one two three four five author uh, for example UD so config screen timeout this is important and very good option when you will start to work with um, CS heavy nodes like CSR uh, XR when you will export your configurations in later videos I will show you in and uh, say again about this timeout by default it's 300 uh, these are seconds which node are waiting when the configuration is imported or exported. This is important point later for import-export configurations. For now, me leaving as it is, and I'm saying to save. That's it. Uh, what's next in there? Management's lab edit info I shown you. Management. Okay, let's go. Let's go on top now and management, management and user management. In user management, you can create your parallel user. For example, you can use the same time, same lab, and do not disturb each other. So you can see that our Eve team guys they are here. So we are created. Uh, we created our accounts, and I am adding the new user. So by default, it will be pod zero. What is a pod? Pod is like your um, like your account so admin account by default when you will install your will be zero if you wish to create another user the pot number must be different you cannot use the same one so i'm adding add new user the name will be otis01 uh, the password yeah it's otis01 uh, otis01 Okay, email some on this one uh, on this one at eve dot lab. Okay, the name all this and the community edition we remove the roles which are user and editor role and leaving only the administration. The pod number will be offered you to choose which is not in use. So you can leave the pod number three and I'm saying just simply add user. User is added, and you can see all this one is appeared here, and the admin role. Uh, such way, I created user. Uh, more information is very useful if you want to see the last session time. You can see last session time when when the user was logged in, last session IP as well, current folder. Yeah, it's where in which folder its uh, user was in, and current lab as well. This information is useful for administration of users. So I created this user. Let's test uh, if I can get in. So all this one and uh, all this one. So I'm signing in. And you're going to see that I'm signed now as all this one here. Right? Sign it out. And I'm going back as all this. This is my main account. So I'm going back. And let's go and delete user. I'm going back to user. And I just created all this one, so I'm saying to, you can edit it, of course, yeah. The password change, for example, or email, or some information, and the same, you can delete it from here. So, user is deleted. So, it was about user management here. So, next one tab is a system. System status is useful for you. It's a how, how utilizing uh, your CPU, RAM, current if machine so you can see the cpu used in my it's nothing running yet and you can see how many nodes and dynamics nodes or chemo nodes are running so and so on in and how much how much memory is used at the swap use at memory swap and how much disk is a uh, disk utilization is here the next uh, here you can see the late version which you are currently running so here is visible a version all right UKSM status um, for 
regular lobbying I recommend to leave on and on but if you expecting to run more than 10 CSRs which are very heavy nodes and of course heavy server should be the UKSM is recommend to off once once you once you do it off yeah this is permanent setting and after reboot it keeps status off as well so CPU limit status it is when both nodes are booting sometimes they are spike uh, spike CPU yeah it's when you start a node you can see that CPU sometimes is spike but it is it doesn't mean that common use of CPU will be less just a, just the CPU limit status per node so I'm leaving uh, switching on UK same status and this is about system screen here all right uh, very useful is system logs yeah it's uh, here you can see it's uh, when and wh what access and from where was uh, some errors as well it is very useful if you if you need a report about something what happens on your if you yeah, to send to our team and so on so on so it is useful as well uh, system and stop all nodes stop all nodes <laughs> this good option actually if your friend forgot to switch off his lab with this button you can switch absolutely all notes in all if all right information tab about if you are pressing about it's, it brings you to our web page our home page uh, forum it brings to our forum forum is here uh, information GitLab GitLab it is our code page uh, and our licensing how we build our EFNG uh, YouTube channel YouTube channel actually I'm recording this video and well when you will push yeah it's a uh, you will go will bring to my name is Udi, uh, and I'm from yeah, it's actually it's link needs team. to be updated yeah, because it will be new uh, and help on Skype open up and you can uh, get in our Skype group so so uh, user is here sign out is here so main it's maybe something missed uh, information about system tab information seems to be that's it about about lab inside lab because there are a sidebar when we are going in into the lab about sidebar options i will show you a little bit later when i will start to create a lab i think it will be informative for you and thank you for viewing